No, I didn't lose my second monitor on a bet. Casually pop onto CSGO Lounge and uh, bet my monitor. But here we go, guys. Welcome to Reason Gaming T -t 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 TV. My name is Kynite. And remember, it's ESEA. So based on the ESEA game we covered with Virtus Pro earlier on, um, I do not believe there will be a knife round. Oh, no, they're throwing their pistols on the floor. Or are they just swapping P250s and USBs? Yeah, we're, we're, it, it looks like a legitimate pistol round. Uh, yeah, there we go. So, like we said, Fnatic, they're in terrible form at the moment. They've uh, pl uh, In their last five games which they've played, they've lost three, which is, you know, massive. Winning two out of three for a team of Fnatic's caliber. You've got to be worried if you're a Fnatic fan at the moment. Dignitas, on the other hand, for some reason they've still got a British flag rather than a Danish flag. But Dignitas, Frag by Master Champions, over, uh, overcoming the likes of Titan and co. Um, some people mentioning that New ain't their strongest map, but I'm sure they'll uh, they'll have been practicing it in the last few days. So here we go. Looks like they're going to go all into ramp at the moment, jumping straight down. And Fnatic, I think, knows something we don't, because they've got no one in ramp. Dupree, the top fragger against Titan on Didas 2 with 22 kills, 10 deaths, and Cajun as well says, "I want a few kills." Flusher coming in, flushing Dupree down the toilet. And it is three versus three. Zipnix and co near that toxic area. Che Kajun comes in. Good shot from him. And people said that Nuke wasn't Dignitas' strongest map. But my word, did they look strong that last round. Three of them still standing. And they are going to take that first round 1-0. Bearing in mind that Nuke is a CT-sided map. But it really, really is 50-50 on the pistol rounds. And Dignitas, they've got it under their belt now. They've got the money in their pockets. We see Device and Cajun with the M4s. Dupree and Zipnix with Famases. And I think Fetish has decided to stick with a P250. So, that's an interesting choice. But Fnatic obviously pretty much setting up with four P250s. So hopefully we'll see... The M4 of Device and Cajun pretty much demolish the Fnatic players. So Fnatic boosting on top of yellow, which is now white for some reason. Good job, Valve. Jasper, oh look, I think they're going to try and push straight into this upper bomb site. JW is ready with the smokes. The smokes will get lobbed in. Has he got a flash in hand as well? He doesn't. Maybe they're just trying to, you know, spar at Team Dignitas, trying to confuse him. Zitnix is playing very aggressive. He will get that first frag. And JW will continue outside. He spots a glimpse of one of the CTs. Is he going to get the frag? Headshot onto Fetish, who of course was that... Slightly weakened CT with only the P250. Zipnik somehow working wonders with that FAMAS. Taking out Pronax through the smoke. And it is four versus two. Advantage Dignitas. Advantage to the team with weapons. And whoa, bada bing, bada boom. It's easy peasy lemon squeezy for Fnatic. Cajun as well getting a kill. And the score is 2-0 in favour of the Danes. Oh, X-Ray, I apologise. It should be on now. Sorry. Here we go. X-ray should be back on. And Fnatic, you know, T-side is a lot cheaper than CT-side, guys. But Fnatic haven't managed to really rack up many kills. You see, only JW with two kills and Flushy with one. We've still got Pronax, Schneider, and Devil Walk with no kills. So they still can't afford to fully buy, even on the third round. And hello, Dupree. Is he in the right place at the right time? He will pull the P250 out. And the Dignitas Beast will get two kills. Fetish and Device coming in. And I think that was pretty much a kill for everyone on the team other than Zipnix. An easy anti-eco eco from Dignitas. And now it's men versus men. It was men versus boys before. But finally the Swedes, finally Team Fnatic um, have got those big AK-47s in hand. And JW with a bit of money to spare as well. 1,100. He is top of the scoreboard for uh, Fnatic. But Pronax, Schneider and Devil Walk yet to get on the scoreboard. Dupree and Cajun B with five kills apiece. Topping the scoreboard for Team Dignitas. And uh, here we go. The Molotov going in from the CT to prevent an early rush from the terrorists. We have Device and Zipnix with only Famases. So are the AKs going to reign supreme? Only time. We'll tell. Device has dropped down to the lower bomb site. I think he's caught a glimpse of uh, Devil Walk, but he is running away. And Device, you know, he's reading Devil Walk like an open book at the moment. Devil Walk, he will spot Device. And I said the AKs might reign supreme. And in that case, they most certainly did. There's a headshot from Devil Walk. Dupree is going very, very aggressive. He has, I believe it's Schneider on top of yellow. 
and they know that Devil Walk is in and around this lower bomb site. So where are these T's going? The bomb is on the back of Pronax in lobby, but Dupree, like a ninja, the ninja of Dignitas, he's been so good recently. He was phenomenal against Titan, and is he going to creep behind the terrorists and wreak havoc? Let's wait and see. A very slow and methodical round from Fnatic Devil Walk, just avoiding one of the CTs. And here we go, Dupree did exactly what we expected of him. Cajun coming from behind, headshot onto Schneider, he spots another. Surely Cajun will hit that, he does. And Devil Walk and JW are the last T standing. I take that back, JW all alone. Many claim JW is the best. And that AK-47 shot was most certainly up there with the best. It's Fetish with his AWP and Zipnix with his FAMAS. All up against JW. It's JW with the weight of the shoulders on his... No, oh, weight of the world on his shoulders. He's got the bomb, but the time ran out. I didn't notice that. And JW, despite his efforts, he hasn't managed to uh, win that fourth round for Fnatic. And fortunately for them, T-side is somewhat cheaper uh, than the CT side. So they can still afford to buy. So let's see whether they will buy. They might be able to afford Galil's and armor. Yep, Schneider as expected. And Flusher going for the Galil. Um, no, Flusher went for the Galil, he could have gone for the AK, but okay, Schneider, I expected Schneider at least to go for the Galil, and he did, which means of course that he uh, gets some lovely armour and a nice helmet to try and protect him from those naughty bullets of the counter terrorists. So we can see what Team Dignitas are doing here, guys. They've got the money in the bank, they're throwing those Molotovs slap bang in front of Hut, they're not letting Fnatic, they're not giving Fnatic any breathing space whatsoever, they're making sure that Fnatic... Um, can't rush into that upper bomb site because how many times have we seen teams on the upper bomb site randomly rush and win a round just by taking the CTs by surprise and there we go the uh, frags are exchanged outside and Fetish unfortunately loses that all but JW catches a glimpse of one lovely AK work from JW I said he wasn't in the best of form in the recent games but he's most certainly picked it up as it seems Devil Walk is waiting eagerly for Zipnix to show himself. Zipnix, you don't have to go aggressive, mate. Play it cool, calm and collective. Come on, Zipnix. And Devil Walk, yep, Devil Walk's changed his position. He's heading towards ramp. He doesn't really have too much resistance going on there. Cage and B, all eyes on outside, but the T's are going towards ramp room by the looks of it. It's three versus one. That CT, I think it's Zip9. Drop down, it's Device with two before Schneider drops him. And two versus two, the HP advantage is in Dignitas' favour. Zipnix and Cajun B with almost 100 HP apiece. Zipnix has the bomb and it's just... No! The bomb was on Schneider's back, who's got an AK in hand. Zipnix spots him. Zipnix trying to pull the trigger and it's one versus one. And Schneider couldn't pull it off. Cajun B in the right place. You guessed it, at the right time. And Team Dignitas, many said that Nuke wasn't their best map, but there... Proving all you guys wrong, it's 5-0 to the British organisation and the Danish team. With regards to people saying uh, there's lag, just so you know, I don't have any 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 packets being dropped on my end so uh, apologies about your lag but it doesn't seem to be affecting everyone and fetish with a fetish for AWP kills at the moment he got one in the last round he lost his AWP but he's bought it up again and he's pulled it off and JW finally has that big green gun which he craves which he loves in his hand outside just narrowly missing one of the team Dignitas players so Zipnix is spraying through the wall dealing a bit of damage to JW but only 10 HP He's not going to be calling in for support or a medic just yet. Devil Walk wants to help out his good old teammate JW. Here goes nothing. He's got one behind him. And Dupree's been spotted. And JW needs to pull this AWP shot off. And he pulls the trigger at the right time. It is three versus four. It's not looking good for Fnatic. But we've seen them turn around rounds which are uh, even worse in their favour. Devil Walk's going to flash outside. And they are going to carry on going forward. And I think now Fnatic are going to have to try and make their way towards Secret. They're going to have to try and get this bomb down on the lower bomb side. But Zipnix is there to stop them. Zipnix is going to say no. I don't want you guys to get the bomb. And this man is so good. He's being dinked. 
through the wall, but he's still on 60 HP, and Device is reading Fnatic like an open book. He's going to rotate from behind. He needs to make sure he doesn't make too much noise. Oh, and he did make a lot of noise. Schneider's going to try and hunt him down. It's AK versus M4, and JW, surely, that's only going to be a consolation kill on his behalf. And, well... You can argue it's the commentator's curse, or you can argue the logical thing or the expected thing occurred that round. And Team Dignitas are making Fnatic look like absolute amateurs at the moment. 6-0 is the score. So, here we go, 5 versus 5, Fnatic being forced to eco, or deco, or whatever we want to call it. Of course, realistically, they are decoing, because they have a few P250s in hand. I uh, know not a lot of people like the word deco, so I'll stick with eco for now. So, and as we can see, again, Zipniks with that Molotov, or Incendium, and a little Neri Grenade, that's what I call it. I'm going straight down to prevent the Fnatic rush into one of these bomb sites, and Dignitas, they played it spot on, but Fnatic, they look like, oh no, Zipnix, he's been playing so aggressive at Hut, and he gets that headshot, but Devil Walk won't give up, Devil Walk wants to get more frags, Cajun finally will take down Devil Walk, and it is four versus three, the T's are on the bomb site, you know, worst case scenario is that they have at least got the bomb down, and JW is all by himself. Zipnix is defusing. JW, where are you? He's no, oh, he's trying to take down Device. He made the wrong decision, and Fnatic are gonna be seven nil up. Here we go. People saying Deco is with the Deagle. Obviously, it stands for Desert Eagle Eco, but that was mainly because the only realistic, you know, Deco weapon in CS Source and 1.6 was the Deagle. Um, people I've played with still call it Deco, at least in the UK scene. Unless you want us to call it a Pico or a Fico. P standing for P250 and F standing for uh, the 5.7, of course. So, Fetish, all eyes on outside. But unfortunately for him, no Swedes are actually making their way outside. So he's pretty much looking there for no reason. Zipnix with the first frag once again. Is that bomb going to go down? Jesper or JW definitely wants. Cajun returning the kill. And Fnatic, they just haven't been able to find their rhythm whatsoever. Dignitas look unstoppable on this nuke map at the moment. But Devil Walk wants to put an end to this Dignitas dominance. Dupree says... I was going to say swear word, then decided against it. Devil Walker, last man standing. Where is he? He's hiding behind the CT vent, and he can hear exactly where these CTs are. It's Devil Walk versus Dupree. And Dupree, top fragging. No, he's not actually. He's only got nine kills on five deaths. We saw Dupree top fragging earlier on. He top fragged against Titan, but Cajun is actually on 11 kills, one death. I uh, don't know if you guys have been paying attention, but Cajun has actually been playing in that heaven area. Playing it spotless, back in the source days, a lot of teams used to like putting AWPers in heaven. Haven't really seen much of that in CSGO because they put those massive yellow toxic barrels in the way, which pretty much means that it's very difficult to AWP into HUT. But the good news for Fnatic is they can still afford to buy Zipnix once again. There's that Molotov we've learned to love. And my word, is it posing a nuisance for Fnatic. So... Where are Fnatic going to head then? The bomb is outside. I don't know if Dupree will have spotted it. JW's on top of yellow. Uh, Fnatic, once again, slow and methodical is the name of the game. But 8 nil down, it's not really working for them, guys, is it? What do you guys think? They need to change, and they definitely need to stop running into Cajun B's crosshair. And Fetish, I think he's caught a glimpse of one of the T's. Has he dealt any damage? I think he has to flush. He most certainly has. Dupree's around the corner. He's going to eat a grenade. But Dupree pulling off the headshots, as usual. We've come accustomed to seeing it. We're used to seeing it. The man from Denmark with that silenced M4 aim. He, it's so crisp. He's so good. JW with the shot. And is this what Fnatic need to turn the game in their favour, to tilt it in their favour, but no. Cajun B says, thank you very much, I'll have the hat trick. He might have a four-man on the cards, and you know what, guys? Cajun B is one heck of a player, and he's got the four-man as well. 9-0 is, is, is the core, is the score in favour of Team Dignitas. So here we go, J 
JW looks like he's been forced to deco himself, so he's got that deagle. But the rest of his teammates do still have that AK-47, and we saw Fnatic maybe consider the push straight into the upper A bomb site. But Zipnix once again, Fnatic guys, not Fnatic, Team Dignitas, they've been using that Molotov grenade. They've been using it really, really well. And if you're a team, and if you're watching for, uh, Team Dignitas play, and you want a few CT-sided tips on Team Dignitas, if you can afford that Molotov, definitely put it down because it prevents those surprising rushes that we've seen Fnatic attempt to do round after round, time after time again. And are they going to rush straight into this A-bomb site? The train of terrorists are coming in. Zipnix manages to drop Schneider, but one ain't going to be enough. Dupree with the double device as well. And well, Devil Walk. There's only so much he could do by himself. Fnatic are trying absolutely everything they can. Nothing is working for them. And that's why it's 10-0 in favour of the Danes, or the British organisation of course, which might explain why they've got that British flag, for a flag. Only they know what flag their uh, Steam Group is set to of course. I do imagine that the Steam Group would be probably managed by Team Dignitas, which might explain why he's got the UK flag, but anyways, who cares for now. JW, we know how much he loves the AWP, but they can't afford it, guys. Look at Fnatic's money. They're pretty much skint at the moment, whilst Device and Cajun B, on the other hand, Cajun B with 14k, Device on 10k, and Fetish on 11k, and Team Dignitas slaughtering Fnatic. But is this a sign of the commentator's curse? Is it kicking in? Because now Fnatic finally have this one-man advantage. JW, I think, forgot that Backsteps doesn't exist anymore. And he's going over towards Secret. And now, Fnatic, they really need at least one round on the board. Because this is getting really, really embarrassing. JW's got two kills already. And Device is coming more or less his way. Device spots Schneider. But Schneider has him in his back pocket. And Dupree... We know how good this man is. He's got 56 kills on that stat track M4 Blood Tiger. And he's not too far from JW. But JW, so far, so good. He's been on fire. He's fixed his poor form. And with squeaky blown to smithereens, Dupree. He's in a very, very tough situation. Fnatic, they want to try and get this bomb down, of course. Dupree will have heard JW make his way in towards there. And Dupree, he's going to catch Schneider. No, he's playing it Ninja. I think he's seen Schneider. He will get the headshot. No, it's not a headshot onto JW. But it, a kill is a kill. Nonetheless, and he's going to push Schneider. He's going in search of Pronax as well. Dupree, surely he can. But Schneider from behind. And Fnatic finally have their first round on the board. The score... It's 10-1. Whew. So, 5 AK still for Fnatic. Let's have a look at their money. It's pretty much JW and Pronax, pretty much skin. Schneider and Flusher were just about more than $1,000 each, so they're not very healthy. Fnatic are rolling in the cash. They don't give a damn at the moment. And I don't think they'll be too downhearted with conceding one round either. So I think they've realised that Fnatic are going to be rushing outside. So you can see how Dupree quickly rotated underground. But Flusher will get the better of him. And can Fnatic build on that frag? JW knows where Fetish is. But Fetish, we said earlier on, has a fetish for those AWP kills. And Cajun B's joined in on some of the AWPing action. But Flusher, it's a boom headshot from him. Three on three. They're trying to push Fetish. They know if they can get their hands on Fetish's orb, that they can shut him down. But Fetish ain't going anytime soon. It's his second kill of the round. He couldn't make the hat trick. And it is two versus two. It's anybody's round. If it goes Dignitas's way, I don't really see any realistic way back in it for Fnatic. They need to at least get the bomb down. Guys, they need some cash in the bank. So, it looks like they're going to head perhaps towards heaven. They'll either climb up on the A-bomb site or go down to ramp room. Let's see what they decide to do. If they, of course, climb up heaven, they will make a bit of noise. And where are the CT so We've got Zipnix who's watching heaven. So good. Dignitas are expecting it. But Device is also on the upper bomb site. So I think what Dignitas want to do now, they know Fnatic are low on cash. They don't mind giving the bomb away to Fnatic. They don't mind if Fnatic get the bomb down. They'll hear that smoke go out. Yep, you can hear. You can see, in fact, with X-Ray on, the team Dignitas players rush towards this lower bomb site. They want to retake this bomb site together. They didn't want one on the lower bomb site and one on the upper bomb site. They they want to be a duo. They want to be a team. They want to 
to work as a team. They want to retake this bomb site together, and Device is going to try and start this retake. It's Devil Walk with the weight of the shoulders on weight of the world on his shoulders. He's going to open the door. They know he's there, and it's well shooting practice for Zipniks and Device. And we have 11 1 in favor of Dignitas. With regards to people saying I'm being biased, um, I'm assuming that you think I'm being biased to Team Dignitas. Well, it's 11-1 to Fnatic. Um, if you want me to praise Fnatic for getting around on the board, then I can do, but uh, I don't think it would be the right thing to do, in all honesty. I'm not being uh, biased, I'm just saying it how it well and truly is. And Fnatic, once again, they can't get any rounds on the board. They've only got one. There you go. Call that bias if you will. But it's the truth. And they only have those P250s and Deagles. Flush is going to push outside. Juan Deag from Flusher. And that's what we've come to see. Sexy Counter-Strike. And our Fnatic, ironically, going to actually win a Deagle round or a Deco round. K Jun B will get the frag. Dupree will pop outside. He's not wasting any time whatsoever. And at 2 versus 4, I don't don't fancy Fnatic, but hey, we know how good they are. Remember, they are our DreamHack Winter Champions. But Cajun B doesn't give a damn. He's going to come behind Schneider. Dupree with the kill. 12-1. And this is getting embarrassing for Fnatic. Many people mentioned yesterday when I was covering the Fnatic Mayhem game. Of course, Mayhem, the Estonian team. I don't think they called themselves Onbots yesterday. That might be their new organization or something along those lines. I'm not sh too sure. Um, they won 16-8. They won comfortably. They weren't really giving it their all. And it really goes to show how much Team Dignitas have stepped their game up in recent weeks. So, is JW going to be able to unlock this Team Dignitas defense? Is it... Nix with all eyes on Hutz. He's spraying and praying, but unfortunately for him, he's not hitting much, and the T's still live to fight another day. Pronax poking round, catching Fetish with his pants down, and Dupree is at secret with that case hardened AK 47, and it's an easy headshot for him. And it's even Steven, 3 3, three terrorists left standing, and three CTs. Dupree playing Super Mario in Vents, of course. When you try to shoot on that ladder, it makes you so inaccurate. So he's making sure he's in a better position. And Fnatic, they've got plenty of time to try and get this bomb down, but Zipnix, he goes aggressive in Hut so many times. And is it going to pay off for them? Kajun definitely goes aggressive. Uh, Zipnix returning the kill, and it's Schneider versus Zipnix and Dupree. Now, the good news for Schneider is that he most likely will know where the CTs are because they killed his teammates. I don't think he's quite spotted Zipnix in Hut. He's being flashed, and he needs to pick up that bomb. He's awaiting the head of Zipnix. I think he knows he's there. He's so close to getting the kill, and surely Schneider with Zipnix on 4 HP, Schneider with the clutch, 12-2 is your score, and finally, something for Fnatic to sing and shout about, 12-2, slightly better for the Swedes, great 2 versus 1 clutch from Schneider, and Fnatic, that'll give Fnatic a few rounds in the bag, and about bloody time, 12-2 is the score. So oh, here we go. Of course, thanks to Schneider's beautiful 2 vs 1 clutch, he uh, has managed to buy AK-47s for, for uh, all his teammates. JW, he keeps boosting himself onto yellow, and he's got Fetish in his back pocket. JW, yesterday we saw him playing really defensive on the CT side, playing with that Mag-7, but now on the T side, he's been so aggressive, he's boosting himself onto yellow, he's been getting those opening frags, but despite JW's dominance, especially onto Fetish outside, Dignitas continue to do that. They're exterminating Fnatic. Fnatic don't look like Fnatic. Fnatic don't look like the DreamHack Winter Champions. Uh, and that's saying something when you consider the fact that Team Dignitas, probably one of their worst maps, is Nuke. So I don't know if Fnatic are having an off day. What do you guys think the problem with Fnatic is? Let me know in the chat. As we just wait for them to go live once again. Here we go, 
seems like they're going live. Good stuff. So, of course now, guys, 13-2. If Dignitas win the pistol, I'm sorry. I don't want to be biased, but it really will be GG for Fnatic. They've been appalling. I'm not sure whether it's been Dignitas who have been brilliant. I think... Now, I've casted Fnatic on Newt before, and what Zipnix was doing by placing that Molotov in front of Hut was most certainly not the norm. It's not something Fnatic always do. So you do uh, Dignitas always do. So a lot of people saying that Dignitas, that their best map isn't Nuke. Maybe they've specifically tried to counter-attack Fnatic. And let's see whether they're expecting this Fnatic setup. Now Fetish is going straight into this bomb site. He will get two Glock kills. And is the third on the cards. Cajun from outside. And Team Dignitas are absolutely wiping out Fnatic. Fnatic... It's not been good enough from them, but is Devil Walk going to prove me wrong? We've got two kills from Devil Walk. He's faking the defuse. He's on 20 HP. Cajun's coming from behind. And you know what? I thought Devil Walk just might pull it out the bag. But 14 2 is your score. And I think it's safe to say, unless the impossible happens for Fnatic, here we go, JW. He's going to be playing Squeaker with that Mag, Mag 7. Unless the impossible happens, Team Dignitas will at least take this to match point. And, you know, if they win the next round, they'll be, afford they'll be able to afford to buy up again. Maybe even bring an AWP in. And it'll be far too easy for them. They'll get 16. And who would have guessed it? 16-2. So, guys, if you went for the cheeky Dignitas bet, my word, you're probably over the fucking moon right now. So, Cajun B with that headshot into lobby. And Schneider goes away. Bye-bye, Schneider. And it's Devil Walker and Schneider all alone. Here in ramp room, the smoke will go out, and where the T is heading for Devil Walk spots them. He's trying to spray. Look, guys, they got P250s. Is it going to be the end of the day for Fnatic? Maybe not. Devil Walk on Flusher. Wow, those pistols reigning supreme. Who said Fnatic were giving up? I said Fnatic giving up, but my word was I wrong. Cajun is all by himself. He's got two to deal with. Cajun, is it Cajun to rescue the round for Team? Dignitas, he's got JW with that Mag 7 now. JW, he's going to try and pick up whatever he can. I think he's heard Cajun B. And Cajun B, guys, is going to get this bomb down now, surely. He's scouting for JW. He's looking left, right and centre for him. He's going to spot JW. Pop out, it's JW versus Cajun. And Cajun manages to uh, live to fight another day. Of course, JW, all he has is that Mag 7. But if JW manages to win this round for Fnatic, it would be absolutely massive for them. So he's going back down. Oh no, he deals a bit of damage to himself on the ladder. And where's Cajun? JW's going down to the lower bomb site. Cajun is one step ahead and he's planting on the upper bomb site. And JW, he's picked up an AK for his troubles. But surely this is going to be one step too many for JW. He was in good form. He looked unstoppable with that AK-47 in the first half. Is he going to repeat that? He's not. We're going to have 15-12 in favour of Dignitas, in favour of the British organisation, in favour of the Danish team. And Fnatic, well, they can hope for a draw now. Fnatic have pretty much got to win every single round to stay in the game. So, here we go. Dupree, Fetish and Zipnix. They've gone for the early Galil buys. Surely they could have... No, they can't afford AKs. That's interesting. Maybe Device would have been able to drop. Maybe not. And they're going outside. You know why, guys? That's a brilliant decision. Because they know that Fnatic are going to be ecoing. They know they've only got pistols. And pistols are good for short range and bad at long range. So Dignitas, they're trying to hit Fnatic where it hurts the most. And as it stands, Zipnix is holding out strong and it's working for Dignitas. They've got someone coming from the left of them. He's managed to run away and it is four versus one. It's JW all alone. JW to save the game for Fnatic and it's not happening. 16-2 is the final score. Absolute whitewash from Team Dignitas. My word are they informed. They've beat the Katowice champions already today on Deedas 2. Now they beat the Dreamhack Winter champions on DE Nuke. Some people are saying Dignitas is Danish. Holy shit. My word are they good. And I'll tell you what. NIP. And uh, yeah, pretty much NIP. NIP. They beat Virtus Pro. They beat Fnatic. All they've got to drop now is NIP. And my word, if Dignitas managed to get a win in the forthcoming weeks against NIP, then you really do have to consider Dignitas 
as potential next DreamHack champions. But anyways, that's it for this game. 